uh, sorry, I see nothing simply without glasses. Uh, and uh, my presentation will be uh, empirical, not so theoretical. So many years ago, we tried to, to uh, express our knowledge about the archaeology at the State Heritage Museum as a local database, and we were successful, but it was local. Uh, we used the C Doc CRM model, and it was very useful for our uh, application. But time, uh, ch times changed, and uh, we understood that it's necessary to use uh, Web uh, 2.0 technology for our work, and uh, the main approach is the network uh, and uh, how it was used, uh, how it was applied. For the, first of all, for the data input, uh, then for data storing in distributed sources, and uh, for public access as well. Uh, so data, data. Uh, we use data in published materials, uh, uh, only in published materials, in order they were, uh, would be reliable sources. Uh, with comments, if something is wrong or mistake, uh, some errors. Uh, uh, translation, because uh, all materials are all in the most part of materials are in Russian. So volunteers help us to translate. Uh, they are studying art and uh, history uh, and also Russian language. So they are involved uh, in process in process of uh, data input, uh, helping with translation and interpretation. Uh, visualization. Uh, we use uh, the panoramic use, uh, uh, also YouTube uh, for videos, uh, Sketchfab for 3D modeling and, uh, of course, GPEG uh, photos. Uh, how we reduce expenses? First of all, uh, students are working on the project and uh, we use already red materials. You see uh, white letters, you can just uh, use your smartphones and try to enter uh, the website where this um, project is presented. So this model of data is very useful uh, to tell about people who are involved in, uh, in archaeological studies uh, produced by Heritage Museum 100 years. We celebrated the anniversary of the academic science just uh, a week ago. Uh, but who knows about uh, these studies? Nobody. So that was the, also the way to explain people uh, that uh, many people worked, uh, a lot of things were done, uh, and a lot of publications uh, are accessible. Uh, we try to use uh, the published uh, in digital form publication materials, and you see the connections between uh, the three D. The three coordinates uh, for every uh, monument, archaeological monument, uh, and the uh, three coordinates, it's not enough. It's necessary to have four coordinates. It's time. Time is expressed as uh, events, because uh, events are mm, changing in times. So on the same place you have uh, possibilities to see different events and also to see people who are involved in these events. So all is in connection and uh, uh, you can enter to the data from different sides, from the side of people, from the of personalities, uh, from the side of monuments and from the side of, uh, side of uh, events. So this way uh, we Mm -hmm. made a convolution of uh, knowledge and I hope this project will be really very mm, successful because uh, it's a only first step for the uh, encyclopedia of the Heritage Museum uh, started by letter A, archaeology. That's all. <laughs>